In this video, we are going to learn how to use various methods to solve quadratic equations. We are going to consider the method of factorization, method of completing the square, and the use of the general quadratic formula. So what we are going to do basically is to take a quadratic equation and try to find its roots using the three different approaches mentioned earlier. So let's begin with the method of factorization. How do we find the roots of the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 is equal to 0? Now the first thing to do is to multiply the coefficient of the x squared term by the constant. Now 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Factors of 6 are 1 and 6 and then 2 and 3. Now, which set of values multiply to give 6 and add up to 7? 1 times 6 is 6, and then 1 plus 6 is 7. So, this equation can be expanded to have 2x squared plus x plus 6x plus 3 is equal to 0. So, now we can factorize. The GCF between 2x squared and x is x. So, we have x on the outside. And then 2x squared divided by x is 2x. And x divided by x is 1. The GCA between 6x and 3 is 3. So we have 3 on the outside. And then 2x plus 1 inside the bracket is equal to 0. So we have x plus 3 in one bracket. And then 2x plus 1 in another bracket equal to 0. So we take x plus 3 is equal to 0 and then we can transpose positive 3 to the right hand side and then we have negative 3. And then we have 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. We have 2x is equal to negative 1 and then we divide both sides of the equation by 2 and then we have x to be equal to negative 1 over 2. So the roots of the equation uh, x is equal to negative 3 and then x is equal to negative 1 over 2. So this is how to find the root of a quadratic equation using the method of factorization. Now let's approach this same problem using completing the square method. So we have 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 is equal to 0. Using this method, the first step is to make sure that the coefficient of the x squared term is 1. Or better still, the number multiplying the x squared term is equal to 1. So to ensure that, we just need to factor 2 out. So we have 2 on the outside. And then 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared. 7x divided by 2 is 7 over 2x. And then 3 divided by 2 is 3 over 2. Is equal to 0. The next step is to add and subtract the square of half the coefficient of x. Now the coefficient of x is 7 over 2 and then half of it means that you are going to multiply by 1 over 2. Now 7 times 1 is 7 and 2 times 2 is 4. So we have 7 over 4 and then the square of 7 over 4 is 7 over 4 squared. So we are going to fuse this into this equation. So it's going to be 2 into brackets x squared plus 7 over 2x plus 7 over 4 all squared minus 7 over 4 all squared plus 3 over 2 is equal to 0. Next, we are going to eliminate 7 over 2x. So it's going to be 2 into brackets. We have x plus 7 over 4 all squared minus 7 over 4 all squared plus 3 over 2 so we have 2 into bracket x plus 7 over 4 all squared minus 7 squared is 49 and then 4 squared is 16 
plus 3 over 2 is equal to 0. Negative 49 over 16 plus 3 over 2 is equal to 0. So now let's multiply 2 across. So we are going to have 2 into bracket x plus 7 over 4 all squared minus 2 goes into a self once into 16 8 times. So we are going to have 25 divided by 8 is equal to 0. Now we had 2 into bracket x plus 7 over 4 all squared minus 25 divided by 8 to be equal to 0. So let's transpose negative 25 to the right hand side. So it's going to be 2 into bracket x plus 7 over 4 all squared is equal to 25 divided by 8. Now let's divide both sides of the equation by 2. So this is going to be 25 divided by 8 times 1 over 2 which is equal to 25 divided by 16. So it's going to be x plus 7 over 4 all squared is equal to 25 divided by 16. Now to find the values of x, we need to do away with the exponent. So we are going to introduce square roots. And then we have plus or minus the square root of 25 over 16. Now the square cancels the square root and then we have x plus 7 over 4 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 25 divided by 16. Now the square root of 25 divided by 16 is equal to root of 25 divided by root of 16. The square root of 25 is 5 because 5 times 5 is 25 and then the square root of 16 is 4. So finally it's going to be x plus 7 over 4 is equal to plus or minus 5 over 4. Now to find the values of x, we are going to transpose 7 over 4 to the right hand side. So it's going to be x is equal to plus or minus 5 over 4 minus 7 over 4. So we are going to have x is equal to plus 5 over 4 minus 7 over 4. Now because they have the same denominators, then we can simplify the numerator. 5 minus 7 is equal to negative 2. So we have negative 2 divided by 4. 2 goes into itself once and then 2 goes into 4 2 times. So we have x is equal to negative 1 over 2. Now for the second value of x, we are going to have x is equal to negative 5 divided by 4 minus 7 divided by 4. Negative 5 minus 7 is negative 12. So we have negative 12 over 4. 4 goes into negative 12, negative 3 times. And then 4 goes into itself once. So we have negative 3 over 1, which is equal to negative 3. So the roots for this quadratic equation are x is equal to negative 1 over 2. And then x is equal to negative 3. The roots of the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 which is equal to 0 can be found using the formula x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a and this is called the general quadratic formula from this quadratic equation a is equal to 2 b is equal to 7 and then c is equal to 3 so let's just replace the values of a, b, and c into this equation. So it's going to be x is equal to negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared 
minus 4 into brackets a is 2 and then c is 3 divided by 2 into bracket 2 so we have x is equal to negative 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared is 49 and then 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 3 is 24 so we have 24 divided by 4 now x is equal to negative 7 plus or minus 9 minus 4 is 5 and then 4 minus 2 is 2 so we have the square root of 25 all divided by 4 so it's going to be x is equal to negative 7 plus or minus square root of 25 is 5 divided by 4 so we can have x is equal to negative 7 minus 5 divided by 4 negative 7 minus 5 is negative 12 over 4 and then x is going to be negative 3 and then again we can have x is equal to negative 7 plus 5 divided by 4 negative 7 plus 5 is equal to negative 2 divided by 4 and then we can have x is equal to negative 1 over 2 so the roots for this particular quadratic equation is x is equal to negative 3 and then x is equal to negative 1 over 2. So this is how to find the roots of a quadratic equation using the general quadratic formula.